Check it out guys. Site plans. Today's an awesome day. We're starting our uh, new truck shop today, breaking ground. So, just heading out there to uh, chat with the builders and the excavator guy. So, awesome. Can't wait. This is something that has been in the works. We've talked of it probably 10 years ago, and I know that there's some previous employees that watch my channel and they're probably laughing thinking are these guys for real because we've talked of it for so long but I will have you guys proof that we are building a new shop time to move some trucks got to get all these things out of the way for uh, the dozer check out my uh, backing skills got all these trucks moved over Got a little style going on there. So this is the area where the driveway and then the shop is going to be over in here. It is 80 foot wide and 165 feet long. So basically where these, here's a tote, or there's a tote, and then way over on the other side, four corners. One of the first things he's doing this morning is leveling out some gravel. This is for more parking so we can have for our trucks because this area is going to get tied up in here. So I'd move a bunch of those trucks, uh, put them over here to the side, and then we're going to put some of the semis. We could just back them down in there. And then also we got the pad out back, but they're going to use up a lot of this space all in here. So it's gonna be a little bit tight for the next couple days. I should say, it's gonna be a little tight for the next month, month and a half. ground for the new shop. We got a John Deere doing it. Here it goes. So he's going to be pushing all this dirt in the back making a pile of it and then we're going to be moving it so it's exciting clean this up back here get a good solid pad ready and uh, the builders the masons are all getting ready to move in we still got to haul some more stone in should be a uh, truckload coming in soon As you can see guys, the excavator just showed up and uh, looks like we got a load of stone coming in. Pushing dirt.
too. I'm getting it uh, leveled out, things leveled out. Got some chunks of wood that are popping up. I'm not sure why. So one of the first steps they're doing here is they're going to level out this area, bring it up to uh, basically almost floor height, a little bit below floor height. They got to figure it in for the concrete. And then they're going to be digging footers around the perimeter of the building and then making a concrete wall, putting in a poured concrete wall the whole way around. So these next couple days we're just getting the pad already. We're digging out some topsoil that got buried underneath stone. So now it's just pad and then they're going to be coming in either this week or next week to start digging footers and uh, doing the concrete work. I don't know if you remember when they were cleaning out the trees that uh, there was a large tree in the back we needed to get taken out. I'll show you here. He's going to start working at it today. Look at this big tree. It's a massive cottonwood. I don't know if you guys remember when we were clearing this area over here that this was one big tree that we didn't get tore out. He was here with the excavator. He didn't feel comfortable pushing it with his dozer. It was too big. So he's going to cut around it with the excavator here and then push it over. Here you can get an idea how big it is. It's a monster. So guys, here it goes. He's going to try pushing it. I think it's too big. <laughs> I don't think you can push it. So guys, he's gonna do a little more digging. Let's we'll see if he can get it pushed here. All right, guys, round two. I can see the top wiggling a little bit. He's just not having enough power to push it. He's a little bigger machine, I think. Nope. So round two, uh, excavator zero, tree two. This thing is a monster. So he's gonna bring his excavator around. We're gonna dig a little bit more. Uh, right in this area because it's not budging a whole lot. You see it, it splits. This thing is huge. It's probably five foot across the base. have to find a bigger machine or find a super long tow rope I think that's what our thought is right now we're gonna to try to just pull that tree over get him behind there with push with the excavator and also pull from the other end so we'll see see that chain up there see it swinging don't ask me how that got up there 
All right, guys, we got solid chain. Wow, that was windy. Yeah, just like that, came down. Now we gotta dig out the chain. Oh, it's dusty. Guys, this thing is a monster. Now we to clean it up. Can you unhook the chain? Yeah. And then we'll just pull it right out? Wow. Just let it uh let it loose. He just pulled out with the loader and take it all with it. Yep. Wow, this stump is a monster. Look at that. Guys, I want to show you how big this is. Like, look at this stump. The base. Monster. So guys, this is like day three of excavation. I'll just give you a quick shot of what it looks like. You just got to dig a little bit out here and then put in good base and start packing it. And then I think they're coming next week for the footers. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace out.